Okay, here we have another one here. Whoa, hit too much. My belly getting in the way there. Here we have a. This is different ways to say hello. It looks like. Um, the state of California keeps track of how many millions of students are learning English as a second language each year. So here we have some numbers. So if I want to find out what kind of a linear regression it is, I'm going to go to my calculator. New. And in it, I'm going to hit option four for add list and spreadsheets. And my page will look like this. And I'm going to go up to the A and put an X. Slide over to the B and put a Y. And then I've got to go insert my table. I also need to make sure that before I do this, my box right here is moved over to one of these, I believe. And now I'm going to hit menu. I guess maybe I don't have to. Menu, stats, and then option one, stat calculations, three, linear regression. All right. And it gives me this answer here. Now I can tell I've got a negative slope, verily. All right. And a y-intercept here. And there is a, see that r? It's negative, And that 0.9 means it's very close to 1. So this is going to be a strong correlation. There's my negative slope. There's my y-intercept, a little marked up there. And my r correlation, which that would be a strong negative. That would be a strong negative. As I put this in, the reason for the m and b is it lets me write an equation. I don't know why I can't get all those to turn green. That bugs me. And so then we know then it's a strong negative for our particular answer and so here we go here as we track this down here here's what the graph would look like so it's for right there correct so that's what the answer would look like for this particular one right there